Hello guys, in this video we're gonna do this nice effect. Okay, let's start. So first we create a circle using the ellipse tool. Then with the direct selection tool, delete these anchors and you will have a semicircle. And get the pen tool and just connect the semicircle. Now you have a full semicircle. And now get the hold on the pen tool and get the add anchor point tool and add one here and one here. And now you can move this anchor here, move it until it reaches here. Okay. And now you can zoom in, press on this anchor and this handle, just move it until you have this shape here. This looks fine. And now we have this nice looking shape. So what we have to do now is go to object, path, offset path, and put it 20. And you will have two of them. So select the inner one and color it, color it with a darker color, just so you can see two, the two of them. So what you have to do is we have to delete this part here. So get the pen tool and zoom in. And here, just connect it with the pen tool this way. And then just create this shape here. And on the other part, zoom in. And create this shape here now zoom out first we have to copy this one copy it Control C and then Control shift V in place and you have two of them select one of them and then shift this and get the shape builder tool hold alt to get the minus sign and remove the inside so now you have only the outskirts so select this one here shift this one and shift this one now you selected these and get the shape builder tool and delete this now everything here is deleted and then delete this this and this and this okay and now you have to delete the remaining shapes and you will have only this part so what we have to do now is we have to connect this one here so get the pen tool and zoom in And this looks fine. So what we have to do now is we have to create a small edge here. So copy this one again. And now let's do object path, offset path and put it minus five. So it's on the inside. So color this second color and you'll see it's on the inside. And now select this one or these two here and with the shape builder tool hold alt and remove one and now you have this and now select all of them shape builder tool remove this 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 and this So the first step is done. We have this nice shape. What we have to do now 
is we have to copy it, Control C and then Control Shift V to paste in place and rotate it and place it here. Okay, then select, or maybe we have to make it very precisely, yes, intersecting. And now select this one, shift this one, and with the Shape Builder tool, connect them. And now you have this whole shape. So now let's start coloring. So I have here this bunch of colors here. So select this one and get the eyedropper and select this color. So what is this color? This color is, you can see there's black here, white, black, and a little bit blue. So I think there's no need for the blue. Let's remove the blue. And I keep the black here and keep it white here. So select it and get the gradient tool and just fix it so the black can not appear a lot. Maybe just a little bit. Yes, you can see there's only slightly black on the edges. Okay, and now select the, this color here and this, shift this one and select this color. And you can see there's a metallic look on both of them. And now zoom in and let's pull this to the back, arrange, send to back so this one can appear more. And select this one here, shift this one and select this color. So let me show you these two colors I just put. We have dark gray, white, dark gray, white, dark gray. But here I actually pulled these more to the left so it will look more like if you let's zoom in let's pull it and just fix it a little bit you can see if it's like white black white black white black and that's what a metallic look looks like and you can fix this one too I'm using this type, radial gradient. And this looks amazing. What we have to do now is, I brought here a circle, a circle with a gradient. So the gradient I chose is this color, 00A6BF and 2E31921 and the same one as the first one, I put two of them here. And then you would have this nice gradient and I put it on radial type radial gradient and if you can see here when you make this color you can actually just pull it pull it from this side here so you would have the blue on this side and the, the light blue on this and here's some light blue so that's how you make this ball just place it here and hold alt and shift and just make it large place it in the middle Okay, and now just arrange, pull it back, and you'll have this nice effect here. So we need to color these white areas here. So let's get the pen tool and create some boxes or random shapes and pull it to the back and let's color it with this color here. And this color here is white or like a bit grayish, black and blue. And the blue I chose is 105876. It's like a dark blue. And you'll have this nice effect here. Let's see if we can further make it look better with the gradient tool, maybe the opposite side. So now we have this very nice effect. What we have to do now is add some lights. So I added here this. It's like a white, you can see here, when I click here, it's zero opacity white, and here it's 80% white. And I pulled it to that side, to the left. So I need to add some here. So with the pen tool, I would zoom in, and or maybe I can just click on this, it's a better idea. Control C and then Control Shift V, and you have another one. 
and go to object path and offset path minus seven. Or, yes, I think minus seven works. Okay, put it on this color just so we can see. And delete the one in the back. So now let's choose this one here and color it with this color. And you can see some nice effects. Maybe with the gradient tool, just pull the white to the back. Or maybe we can put it to this side. Okay. And now we can Control C and Control Shift V to do the same thing. And put some white here. And now select the first one, which is this one, and get the pen tool, and maybe cut it like this. And then select this shape, shift this shape, and get the shape builder tool, and delete this. And you have only this part. And here as well, you can get the pen tool. We need to add some light also here and some shadows. So what to do here is select the pen tool and just create a small shadow. Okay, and let's color it with this color. And let's drag it back. If you want, I can teach you something better than what I'm doing in the range positions. So you can actually make a layer. So I'm putting everything on one layer. So what you can do is just select the ball or the ones on the back here, cut them, make a new layer, put it underneath everything and control shift V and now they're in one layer and now select the ball cut it make a new layer put it underneath everything and paste the ball so now we have this then on top of it the ball and now you have to put the shadows so cut the shadows and make a new layer let's name it shadows let's name this one ball and let's name this one uh, gradient one is this one here and let's paste the shadows in the shadow layer and you would see it comes perfectly underneath everything else and now while you're on the shadows layer we can create another one here and you have this nice effect so what we can do here is let's go to effect blur Gaussian blur and add a little bit of blur and you see this nice effect here and now there's one more thing we can do is get the pen tool and we can draw circles here here so what is this color let's see I put zero opacity and with blue zero opacity and white 80%. It's very similar to the one I put here. So select this color and put this. And this one, choose this. And then you will have this nice effect. So maybe with the gradient tool, just pull it back. One more thing we can do, we can select these ones and just change the gradient tool position. This looks fine. Make this black here so it can contrast with the white here. And this one as well. This looks fine. 
and now the small ones. And this looks nice. So we can also select the ball here, go to effect and stylize outer glow and add some outer glow, 46, 27. This nice outer glow. And when you're done, you can just rotate it, whatever fits you, whatever looks better. I rotated it this way, I thought it looks nice. And we're done. 